The Guilford Courthouse National Military Park is a popular Greensboro spot when the weather is nice. You can walk the trails, ride your bicycle, and get a history lesson. But as the area grows, so does the number of people who spend their time there. Now there are several proposed plans that would change the park, and some of these proposals are eye-opening, to say the least. Fox 8's Cassie Fambro spoke to the park superintendent about what he has in mind and how you can have a say about the park's future. Cassie. Well, Neil and Katie, there's less than a month left for the public to give their opinion on the three draft plan concepts for the park. Within concept number one, you see that the entirety of Old Battleground is closed within the park. Old Battleground Road has a steady flow of cars and trucks, not something you would have seen in Revolutionary War time. One of the goals of this place is to present the landscape as closely as we can to 1781. So you'd want to minimize modern intrusions into that historic landscape. And Old Battleground is a modern intrusion right in the middle of, of the battlefield. Aaron LaRocca is the Guilford Courthouse National Military Park Superintendent. He's in charge of taking people's feedback on possible changes. In Concepts 1 and 3, Old Battleground Road would be demolished and nature would be restored. Only Concept 2 keeps a portion of Old Battleground open. This kind of northern section of Old Battleground within the park remains open and connects to New Garden Road. With those possible changes, park accessibility is a top priority. One of the goals of the development concept plan is to make recommendations on improved access and improved visitor circulation. So how do people get to the park? Once they're in the park, how do they move around the park? The National Park Service acquired Hoskins Farm and wants to further integrate the site into the greater military park experience so visitors can learn more about the Revolutionary War. That's the mission of the National Park Service, is to protect these special places for future generations. It's a place many local parents take their kids. He likes to have a little sword battles with sticks that we find over there. Sean said if Old Battleground closes, he would still take his son to the park. As long as we don't lose accessibility to the park and uh, there's still oh, enough parking. I Others say they'll support any plan that doesn't change too much about the park they love. Keep the park natural because it is nice. Now they're also considering removing the visitor center to better represent original battlefield conditions. Another effort to be as historically accurate as possible. Now people can submit public comments several different ways by July 1st. All you have to do is go to the park planning website or mail your feedback in directly and we'll share all of that information on our website. Katie and Neil. Cassie, thank you. Green